Project Management Quick Tips by Edwell Programs, Lesson 4, a Project Management Overview. In any discussion of project management, I like to start it out with a simple question. And the question is this, what are the attributes of a great project manager? If you were to give this some thought, I'm sure that you would come up with many of the attributes that I have listed here. Great project managers drive results. They tend to be well organized. They communicate effectively. They build and lead effective teams. They're flexible and are able to deal with the ambiguity inherent in every project. They're subject matter experts as well as they are great decision makers. Now of course we could add to this list and we could come up with many more attributes of a great project manager. But in many respects I think this list gives you a good feel for what great project managers do. Most importantly though, you should give a little bit of thought to which of these attributes you need to work on over the next three to six months. We all want to be great project managers, but becoming a great project manager takes time as well as a discipline to managing projects and project teams professionally. Maybe for you it's a question of organization. Could you be a little bit more organized? Could you use maybe Microsoft Project to help you plan your project? It's these types of questions that great project managers are constantly asking of themselves. Another question that probably needs to be asked is this question, what is a project? In an adapted definition from the Project Management Body of Knowledge, or PMBOK, a project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product or service. It is characterized by the need for the services of many different people in an organization while requiring considerable planning and coordination of tasks. It is not an ongoing endeavor. It has a definite beginning and end. Now, all in all, this is a pretty decent definition of what is a project. However, I think there's another question that you need to consider, and that question is, what is a project to you? How do you know that you are now managing a project? What are the triggers? What are the attributes of this initiative that give you a strong indication that you will need to manage this initiative professionally? Everyone's definition of a project is a little bit different. If you have 30 years of experience managing initiatives, a project for you might be some highly visible enterprise-wide initiative. On the other hand, if you just started last week, a project to you may not be so complex. Give this question some thought, because when you know that you are about to manage a project versus just completing a series of tasks by a certain due date, it will determine your response. It will determine how much project management you are actually going to apply to this initiative. Once you have that question answered, I think the next question you need to ask yourself is, what is project management? What does project management mean to you? Now, a pretty common definition of project management is this one. It's the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project activities to meet project requirements. Personally, I think this definition is a little bit vague. It really doesn't tell you what skills, what tools, what techniques are actually being applied. In my opinion, I think you should think of project management this way. Think of project management as a framework, as a guide. Think of it almost as a decision-making model. And if you really want to boil it down to its essence, in my opinion, think of it as a questioning technique. And that takes us to the five process groups of project management. Initiate, plan, execute, control, and close. Think about that for a second. When you are formally initiating a project, what questions do you think you should be asking? How about questions such as, who are the stakeholders? Why are they the stakeholders? What is this project's priority? How will that priority affect my management of this initiative? What is success? How will I know when I have achieved the goal? Who will formally accept these project results? Planning questions could include, what are the tasks? How long should each task take to complete? Who will do the tasks and why? What risks could interfere with the timing of my schedule? All of these questions and their answers give you a
greater insight into how you are actually going to manage your project. What questions do you need to ask when it's time to execute and control an initiative? How about questions when you formally close out a project? If you're looking for a newer definition of project management, consider this one. According to most specialists, project management is the practice of defining and achieving targets while optimizing the use of resources, time, capital, people, etc. Now, I think that's pretty fair. Whenever a project is initiated, there is a target that we are attempting to achieve. There's a business problem or an opportunity that the organization is trying to take advantage of. Also, project management is about optimizing the use of resources. And in every modern organization, time, capital, and people are always at a premium. Now, here's the part of the definition that I really like, though. In action, project management is a set of approved templates and guidelines designed to share critical information and coordinate teams across a company's internal functions. In my opinion, the two operative words in this sentence are templates and guidelines. What do we mean by templates? Well, Microsoft Project is a template. What is Microsoft Project trying to get you to do? Microsoft Project is trying to get you to ask questions, such as, what are the tasks? How long should they take? When should they start? When should they finish? What are this, these tasks' predecessors, successors? Who's going to be doing or achieving or working on this particular task? What do we mean by guidelines? Well, guidelines basically are how much project management do you need to apply? Most modern organizations have established a set of rules or suggestions as to when these individual templates need to be used. Do we need to use Microsoft Project for every initiative we work on? Probably not. If it's a small one-week or two-week initiative with just a couple people that you need to manage, using Microsoft Project and all its capabilities and features might be a little bit of an overkill. On the other hand, if it's a months-long initiative with dozens of individuals working on the project, then using that particular template might be a good idea. The templates are there to remind you to ask the questions. The guidelines are there to remind you that these are the questions that need to be asked. When you're looking at this last question of how much project management is necessary, it really comes down to how much is necessary for the projects that you are working on? How many questions do you need to be asking? Which templates should you be using? The more questions you ask, obviously, the better prepared you will be for managing your particular initiative. However, each one of those questions takes time not only to ask, but also to answer. So you need to be certain that the questions you're asking are going to help you manage your next project professionally. For more project management quick tips, please visit edwell.com.